Good morning, uh, it's me again. Apologies for lack of reviews, I've been doing Nano Remo and writing instead of reviewing, which is not fair really on my beautiful authors, um, but has been quite an interesting process. Anyway, back to an actual author, um, and today we're thinking about The Bloomsbury Affair by Anita Davison. Um, and uh, as well as having a really, really beautiful cover, um, <clears throat> it's a really, really fun book. It's a cosy mystery. It's um, a female uh, protagonist, female um, Flora Maguire. This is the first uh, one I've read, but it does refer quite a lot, slightly annoyingly at one point, to previous uh, mysteries that she's solved. And so I th I'm guessing this is at least the third one, possibly fourth. Um, but it's lovely. I, I won't give any spoilers away. It's got real intrigue. Um, I liked all the characters. I thought they were interesting. It was very of its time, so it's very beautifully researched. Um, so although as a mum I found it slightly annoying that she kept wandering off without her child. Of course, that's how it was. You had a nanny and the child lived in the nursery and you didn't take them with you. So um, it was um, beautifully crafted. Um, and, and there was a nice balance of meaty clues and more subtle clues so every time I thought oh I think I might be getting somewhere I think I'm I've got a feeling that I, I know where this is going there would just be a little something that added in and, I'd, and it would make me think again so it wasn't that blindingly obvious you know what's going to happen all the way through and um, lots of little nuances lots of little bit parts for for characters but all very carefully woven together um, and I really like that. I think that shows real um, crafting of a story. Um, and I suspect when I go back and read the others that those threads will appear uh, in, in you know, earlier books and later books, I'm guessing. Um, so it's a beautifully and cleverly put together mystery. Um, lots of fun to read, lovely, evocative of the period, lots of... Um, sort of political and historical stuff in there so um, if you're a historian like me there's lots there of interest you know it's not just about the mystery there's a lovely um, uh, sort of wider wider reading in there um, so I thoroughly recommend it I think it's a, a beautifully um, created sleuth um, and the characters around her um, the moons around her star are, are equally as lovely and fun. You know, there's a little bit of lightness in there. Um, so, yeah, go for it. Totally super.